much like the multiplying with um, using the place value chart, uh, now we're going to divide using the place value chart. Here it was a little bit more clear, so you can see here we have 80, and the first time we're going to divide by 10, but I went ahead and showed you that we're going to do 80 divided by 10 on this line, and then 80 again divided by 100 on the next row over. So uh, as you can see, if you take 80 and you divide it by 10, you're going to get 8. Now that I'm dividing, you can see that the, the 8 shifts in the other direction. Yesterday when we were multiplying, if this was 80 times 100, it would have shifted into the to 800, so the 8 would have went this way. But now that we're dividing, 80 divided by 10, it's going to shift the other way. So if we divide by 10, we end up with 8 in the ones place. So if we divide by 100, it's going to shift twice. So the 8 will end up in the tenths place. So let's take a look at what 47 looks like. Now 47 is a two-digit number. Now the same principle applies when you're dividing by 10 to both digits. Both digits are going to move one place value to the right. 47 divided by 10. So the 4 in the tens place, so think about this. If we, took, if we split up 47 into 40 and 7, then 40 divided by 10 would be 4. So that would make the 4 move over one space. Likewise, if we took 7 once and divided it by 10, we'd get 7 tenths. So both of them shift. Now if we take 47 divided by 100, they're going to shift two spaces. Both digits are 40 and 7. All right, so it works the same with three-digit numbers and however many digits you put in there. If you divide 246 by 10, each digit is going to be divided by 10 and shift over one space. So your 2 is going to go here, 6 is going to go here, 4 is going to go here. Then if you divide by 100, they're going to shift over two spaces. So 240, 264 divided by 10 is 26 and 4 tenths, and 264 divided by 100 is 2 and 64 hundredths. And with the last problem, 5 and 1 tenth divided by 10, you just keep the same pattern. That becomes 50 1 hundredths and 5 and 1 tenth divided by 100. Shift over two spaces. And now we have 51 thousandths. 51 thousandths. And, and that's how you do it.